today I want to bring you a makeup tutorial on these very, very natural, a little bit shimmery kind of winter eyes and this bold, beautiful kind of wine Bordeaux plummy kind of lip. This is a super easy look to create. We want it to be super natural on the top and on the cheeks and really have these lips as a focal point. Um, you can use this look for every single day when you're in a rush or in a hurry and still look super flawless and put together. Or you can use it on a special event or a night out or something that you really want to make a statement with. I will link all of the products in the bottom tab for you and I will take you through how to get this look step by step. So be sure to check the bottom tab right now so you can see the products and kind of follow along. And even if you don't have a product that I mentioned here, um, you can always use what you have that looks similar as a similar color or tone or anything like that. But it's a mixture of drugstore and high end. It is a lot of fun to do and a lot of fun to wear and I will show you guys how to get this look. So I really hope that I'm in focus because some of my other tutorials are not. Um, but I want to let you know that I started off with a tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier and a fluid foundation with sunscreen from Givenchy. And I hardly used any of this. This is seriously such an amazing foundation. But I'm going for a very natural look today and you can see my little honking, um, little, my little unicorn horn hanging out up here. But this is what I am, I'm number three. It is just a pump of this, and then maybe like four or five squirts of this. This is a tester size, they also have the full size, but they both have SPF. They're amazing for your face. They're fine for people with acne, at least in my experience. Um, and no powder, no translucent. Just let it set with air for about 10 minutes, and now we can move on. I also used a MAC 266 and Tease from the Urban Decay palette um, just to fill in my eyebrows. First color I'm going to start out with is Stay Golden by Neutrogena. It's 01 Stay Golden. These, I literally am obsessed with these. Um, they're basically like coloring sticks. They're kind of like if you ever use the NYX pencils or if you ever use the MAC... Um, what are they called? Shade sticks. That's exactly what this is, only it's from Neutrogena. And they're all day crease wear eyeshadow, so I'm not going to be using a, um, a primer. They are pretty crease proof, however, I would recommend if you have really oily lids, maybe um, either priming or putting eyeshadow over them. Again, this is a super simple look, so I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm just going to apply right from the stick. And these are really easy to clean as well, because all you have to do is wipe the top when you're done um, to keep it sanitary. So. You could apply it to a brush, but because, of course, we're in the morning, we're in a rush, we don't want to deal with brushes, um, I'm just going to apply this directly to my eye and blend out. Um, because, you know, it's a hassle to clean brushes, and if you don't have to, then why would you want to? Unless you're like someone who really enjoys cleaning brushes, which in that case, please come over and clean mine. <laughs> And I love that these are super, super blendable as well, so that's why they make a great um, drugstore eyeshadow pencil. So I'm just going to kind of blend this in with my finger. I have applied it along my highlight into the inner third of my eye. And I'm not trying to flip you off, this is just the finger I use. You can also use your ring finger, but I find that I have more dexterity with my middle finger. I'm not trying to make any rude gestures or anything, so don't take it that way. Not that you would, I mean, I'm just saying. And um, just an FYI, you do kind of want to work with these a little bit quickly, and because they are crease proof, they do tend to dry very fast. Um, so if you're going to take a lot of time blending or something, I would recommend doing one eye or one section at a time. Again, I'm kind of leaving it untouched in the very um, inner corner, because that really brightens up our eyes and makes us look like we have slept a full, a full eight hours, even if we have not. The next color I'm using is kind of a brown, shimmery, almost a little bit of a champagne -y pink color. This is number four in Constant Copper. I'm just going to apply this all over to my lid. Um, this is a great color, especially if you have green or blue eyes, because it has a little bit of that pink, kind of that kind of uh, blushy hue. Reddish, kind of pinky orange really brings out anything that's green or blue um, or contrasts that. Um, it looks amazing if you have hazel eyes too, but if you have a green or blue eyes, I mean it's literally a couple dollars at a drugstore, it is a must. I'm just going to take my finger and blend these two in together. Can you already see like how bright my eyes are? I love it. The very last one is kind of this taupey brown, taupey, it's not really that taupey gray, but it's more of like a brown tannish color. Um, this is in number 550, Lasting Taupe. Um, and this is the darkest color we will be using, but again, it's not that dark because we are going for a bold lip and kind of a lighter eye. So I'm going to apply this to my outer corner. Um, I'm going to just kind of work it in a little circle and then bring it a little bit up into my crease. And because this is a pencil, it's really easy to find your crease. Um, I'm just going to kind of push that in and then we can blend. 
So I'm going to start here at the outer corner, just kind of wiggle that in. I'm kind of brushing the pink out as opposed to the taupey color in. Um, this kind of maintains the lid shape because if we brought the taupe in too much, it would kind of close us in. Um, next, I'm just going to run this along the top and blend in that crease. Keep in mind that even though this is a light look, it is a very, very shimmery look because of the colors in these eyeshadows. Um, so next we're going to kind of ground the look with a bit, I'm just wiping off my fingers, ground the look with a little bit of eyeliner and mascara. Could go super, super black, but that's not what I'm going for here. So I am just using a Givenchy eye pencil in a brown color. This one, Magic Kajal, Kajal, I don't know how to spell that. Spell, say that. It's K-A-J-A-L. It's one that I really love. I've been using it for a while. It is kind of big, and I do notice that sometimes it kind of pokes my eye. So you do want to make sure it's sharpened to a pretty good tip. Um, but any brown eyeliner that kind of stays and lasts and looks good with your eyes will do. I'm just going to apply this to my tight line and my water line. Uh, the tight line is this area on the top, and the water line is the one on the bottom, or vice versa. I'm not really sure. Now, you can also apply eyeliner to the top or give yourself a wing. Um, it really depends on your eye shape and what you like doing. Um, so just do your eyeliner regularly with a nice brown color. Next, you want some mascara. I'm using Their Real by Benefit, which I think they told me is like the world's best-selling mascara, which is actually kind of easy to believe because it's amazing. Just use your favorite mascara that makes your lashes look absolutely fantastic. You could apply fake lashes with this look, um, but I wouldn't just because, unless you use like Jamir or something, just because we don't want the eyes to be too bold. And if you're naturally born with voluptuous, beautiful, wonderful, freaking princess jasmine eyelashes that I wish I could rip off your face, then maybe not apply as much mascara because you still want the focus to be on the lips. And if you do have those kind of eyelashes, then maybe comment and tell me where you live and how I can get a hold of you so that I can, like, you know, take them off your hands in case you never need them anymore. <laughs> I am here open for eyelash transplantation surgery of longer eyelashes. Now once that's done, it's time to move on to cheeks and lips. I'm just going to use a regular Arbonne brush bl blush brush, and I am using the Center of Attention by MAC. Um, this is a really gorgeous color. It, I don't know if it's limited edition or not, but any kind of shimmery, mineralized, golden, shiny, pinkish color will do. Um, the, way that, the way that this comes out is actually very, very um, highlight-esque. So it's not like a super, super bright blush. It's not even a super um, pink or golden color. But we're just going to mix this on our brush, and that's also why I'm applying this without powder on my face, is because it will stick better, since it is a very, very light color. So I'm going to get a bit of this here on my brush. Smile to find the apples of your cheeks, and take this from the apples all the way up to your temples. As you can see, it barely applies rouge or color. Um, it's just a little bit of this nice shimmery sparkle. So I'm going to add a touch of contour. I'm using Bare Minerals Warmth. It's just a whatever thing that I have. Um, I believe this is a Sigma brush. It is. It is the 165. Um, it's just kind of a flat dome brush like this. And contour whatever you like. Next I'm just taking the blush brush again and blending this all in together. Um, also keep in mind if you're going to have your hair up or down, if you have your hair up, then use less contour. If you're going to put your hair down, then you can get away with a little bit more. Last but not least, it is time for the lips. This is actually a set from MAC that I blogged about when I first revealed it. I want to say it's like the Dark Night set in violet or something like that. Um, it's really cute. You don't need the entire set. You can just use two really dark, kind of vampy, wineish, plumish color lipsticks and lip liners, kind of wine colors. Oh, hello. That was rude. And just kind of a light mauve slightly sandy colored, um, shimmery lip gloss. First things first, I'm using the lip liner. This is Vino. And I'm going to make the kind of outsides of my lips a little bit darker. Um, so I'm going to just apply this and kind of shape them the way that I want them to be. Um, and I did apply chapstick just because my lips are a little bit dry. It also helps you kind of blend everything in together. You really don't need to, though. Um, it's totally up to your, your discretion. Now I have applied.
quite a pretty dramatic cupid's bow and dramatic um, straight lines. So the next thing we're going to do is just take a little bit of lipstick and kind of blend this all in. Take a paper or a tissue and make sure you blot your lips. This is so that tooth, um, toothpaste lipstick doesn't get on your toothpaste, on your toothbrush, on your teeth. Lipstick, <laughs> I'm not even going to try this anymore. That blot so that lipstick doesn't get on your teeth and also um, so it doesn't move a lot throughout the day. The very last thing to do is apply a little bit of lip gloss. You can use whatever gloss you want. I love this gloss on its own. This is Art of Seduction. Again, it's from this MAC collection. Use whatever lip gloss you like. Um, I'm just going to apply this to the, middle, to the middle to add a little bit of shine and dimension. And voila! That is all it takes to get this look. It's time to fix this mess called hair. So guys, that's all it takes to get this look. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any other tutorial requests or video requests, um, please feel free to just tell me what they are. But I love you guys. Hope that you enjoyed this video and I cannot wait to hear from you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.